The interstate is starting to reopen across Kelo Land, but as more than 500 miles stretching from I-90, Rapid City to Albert Lee, Minnesota, that was closed overnight, that now again open. I-29 is also now open from Sioux Falls to Watertown. But the DOT says the interstate remains closed from Watertown to the North Dakota border due to drifting snow and low visibility. A no travel advisory is still in place across the state with many highways blocked by snow drifts. Crews are also still trying to reach stranded drivers while clearing roads. Several tow companies still remain closed due to the frigid temps. Check out these pictures from the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office shows just how high the snow drifts are across some roadways. Deputies are urging people to stay home. The massive storm is creating problems on the second busiest travel day around Christmas and New Year's. Thousands of flights in the U.S. have been canceled already and hundreds of others have been delayed. Meanwhile, the Sioux Falls Regional Airport is planning to reopen sooner than expected after closing yesterday due to blizzard conditions. The terminal is already open and the security checkpoint will reopen at 4 p.m. Even after the snow and rain stop, the extreme cold slows down airport operations, so ex experts say to expect delays and cancellations to stretch into the weekend. Meanwhile, the Hamlin County Sheriff's Office just posted this picture of several cars stuck on Highway 28 at Stone Bridge. They say that many secondary roads have drifted shut, so please be safe, stay warm, and maybe stay home.